hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl sishoy and today we'll be doing a video i don't know what i'll title this video but I know I'll be talking about the good, the bad, the ugly, the truth, everything about starting a YouTube channel, growing your channel. I'd like to say I am still a new YouTuber. But I will be sharing all that I found out, all that I heard, how I started my channel, all of that. I know that a lot of persons think that, oh, you just get the camera and you sit down in front of it and I eat that. But in reality, it's not that. Like... More time me I do video, people out of road of course, Kiara Pass, Kaka Crow, my baby sister run this I watch Peppa Pig. A lot of persons will hate you and they will think that oh um it's the easiest thing to do so them can just quit them job and start the YouTube and oh tons of subscribers easy to get. One subscriber is hard to get. Persons are right, for me. When I was researching about um, having a YouTube channel, starting a YouTube and stuff like that, I saw that your biggest support system would be your family and your friends. My biggest support system, as, as, alongside my mother, is strangers. Like, my friend them support me, you know, and some of my family support me too. But it's the support that you get from strangers, persons that do not know you, or they don't know of your existence, they don't know you in real life, those persons support you more than persons that you expect. And listen, like, if you don't strong, don't come on YouTube, I swear. Because if you don't strong, don't if come. You come if you're thinking about coming on here you need to research a sub for sub don't work me personally don't don't like person will text me and say sub for sub and i will ignore it and it's not that i don't i'm a channel to grow i don't feel like sub for sub it, i don't feel like it, it it does not work because yes you're getting a bunch of subscribers but they're not watching your content some people unsubscribe as you know look and so they're just not watching your content most of the time they're not liking your content they're not commenting on your content so if you do the sub for sub them just dead it. and youtube now go push out a video if and another thing you need to know about is search engine optimization as i'm always asking for like the video comment on the video share the video subscribe to the channel so that youtube can see say you don't like the content because if you don't like the content youtube i go push it i go get on other people recommended page and people can find me if it is that i have a bunch of subscribers and y'all are not liking the post you're not you're not commenting on the post and stuff like that it doesn't make it doesn't make sense because YouTube is not going to push out that content to other persons. They're not going to put it on other persons' recommended page so that they can see it. It's not, it's not going to be um, easy, easily accessible. Alright. So if you're going to have, if you decide to have a YouTube channel, first of all, you can't shy. You cannot shy. Like, my first video, I was nervous. But you see, after that, like... It's not sure if I'm going to come camera now, go out myself, you know. Like, I'm not care. Like, I just don't care what nobody else to say. I know that there are persons out there where, like, they would have never subscribed because of me. But when I give me the watch time, I'm appreciative. I would have loved to subscribe, but the fact that I don't subscribe and I don't watch it, I'm still grateful. So, welcome. Hi. I ma, ma, I see you guys. The other thing I have to say is that you need to, if you have a YouTube channel and you don't have youtube studio sis or oh bro what are you doing like you need to know who is viewing your content you need to know how much percent what percentage of your um watch time is subscribed and, and what percentage is not subscribed if persons are searching up your name if they're clicking on the links that you're sending them you need to know you need to know so it i think 
everybody that has a YouTube channel needs to get YouTube Studio. As it is editing, so editing your thumbnails, editing your videos, filming your videos. There's a bunch of content on YouTube where you can watch YouTubers and learn how to do all those things. Hi. Hi. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell them. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell them now. Alright, tell them bye. Bye. All right. I was saying that me personally, if I am on YouTube and I see a person upload a video and the thumbnail look dark and the words not so readable and it looks so professional, I'm not going to watch it. Could I be from a favorite YouTuber? I'm not going to watch it. And I don't know if it's because I am a graphic designer by profession because I do... Um, make and sell t-shirts logos business cards and stuff my business in is inactive right now we're revamping but it is ct locker on instagram i can go and i only have one post on there now because as i said we're revamping but i don't know if it's because i have a sense of graphic design where like i think i like my thumbnails a certain way if i post them normally i film edit and make my thumbnails on my phone and then I transfer it to the computer to um be uploaded because and if I transfer the the thumbnails there and they do not look appropriate I'm gonna take it down and I'm gonna make it again because I have more than enough time. I have two and a half hours until it is um ready. It it is processed to be um uploaded to YouTube. So I'll just take that video down and make it appropriate before i put it out there i mentioned the a thousand subscribers a lot of persons are doing youtube for the money and let me tell you because as we are all aware you can make a lot of money here on youtube but if you don't put in the work you're not gonna get there and that's plain and straight like for me if you have my number and you have my on Instagram, you have my on Snapchat, and you have my on TikTok and Twitter everywhere, you will know that I promote the hell out of my content. Like as soon as I drop a video, it depends on my WhatsApp status, it depends on Snapchat, it depends on Instagram, and I realize that my link is where I get most of my subscribers. Like about 60% of my subscribers came from the link that I send. I send my videos to all of my contacts. Like, if them want to click it, I for them busy. But you have to know, so you have to promote yourself. You have to support yourself because the support is not going to strong. I'm going to tell you that straight. Like, person that you expect to support you are not going to support you. So, you have to go support yourself. Plain and straight. Content now, as it relates to content, listen. You're going to get, if you're not self motivated, you're going to get demotivated. I think that before you start a YouTube channel, you need to have 100 video ideas in advance. I only have 50. 50 is good as well. I only had 50 going forward. And another bad, another, I wouldn't say bad, but another thing that I've experienced is that most of the times when I make my videos, I don't post them or I don't like them at that time. And then I edit, I edit like for weeks and I say, okay, this is up to par. I can post this now. And editing sometimes for me it t it can take an hour it can take um five hours it can take a day it can take weeks for me editing a lot of persons think that you have to spend a lot of money to start a youtube channel but that you don't have to have an expensive camera i film on my phone you don't have to um put on makeup to come on here if you can't do makeup you don't have to pay nobody for doing no makeup you don't have to wear no whole pack nice nice clothes because any the yard there nobody now see you if you notice i don't i wear um t-shirts and stuff but i wouldn't say i dress up to come on camera I wear simple stuff to come on camera, right? You don't have to um do your nails and your hair. Just comb your hair nice and come on here. People will watch you the same way. You not, you not have to do the bunch of extra stuff. You don't have to pay somebody to do your intro. I made my intro myself. And the apps, the, and I, and I, if I want a video on how I made my intro or how I made 
my i don't have an outro yet but i'm gonna make an outro soon if you want to know how i edit i edit my thumbnails if you want to know any youtube related videos i'm open to helping anybody out there so just reach out to me on instagram with your video video suggestions and i will and i'll make that video and i'll post it for you i'll show you how to edit thumbnails i'll show you how i edit my my videos i'll show you how, show you how i film i'll show you all of that right now i don't have a ring light and I don't think my quality is bad. I think it could be better. But right now, I don't have a ring light because it's in it's quarantine. And I would have to buy that from Amazon and get it shipped. So, I'm waiting a bit. But I don't think my quality is bad. I video in the night. I film in the night. So, you can you, got, you guys can realize that um, the quality is not bad. Because I'm not getting, getting no natural light at all. So, yeah no natural light at all this is all um from different light sources all my videos were done at night all of them if you are researching you're hearing people say be consistent and i would say take them seriously because if you post one video now and one six months from now people are not gonna take you seriously they're gonna say oh this girl is a joke like she does company here every six months me no one watch video every six months so at least try to post once a week i want to post twice a week but i don't think it is working out because sometimes editing takes longer than i expect or i just don't have the mo i don't i just don't have the motivation to come in front of the camera or stuff like that but i would say be consistent like you hear a lot of persons say that and you might not take it seriously and I'm just saying like be consistent with your content like when I came on YouTube I never think nobody would have watched me apart from a friend them my close group of friends and my family and when I saw that persons were actually persons that I do not know comment on my videos and they're like oh I love the bond with you and your mom I, I love your content girl content and persons reach out to me on Instagram like all the time businesses I've been reaching out to my to me and say hey i love what you're doing i love your content and i would like to work with you first um other youtubers have, have asked me to collab because i love what i'm doing and once you're a youtuber persons can find you i have started using hashtag on my um instagram photos i didn't normally do i hashtag small youtuber and hashtag jamaican youtuber and that have me that i realized that persons a lot of youtubers have started to follow me because they have been searching those um hashtags so they do reach out to me and they're like hey i want to collab um you know stuff like that so i do recommend that you use those you use hashtags as well on their instagram photos and me me don't instagram famous I'm not Instagram famous at all, so I did not think that I was going to come on YouTube and be the next superstar. I did not think I was going to get 50 subscribers, but it's 180. So I'm still amazed. But I'm just saying, like, tips I have is that just be consistent and just don't dare and say, oh, I want to start, but I, a lot of person that reach out to me, oh, I want to start, but I don't know. I don't I'm not motivated. Like you have a, you have a self mot you have a self motivated you have, you have to know in yourself say yeah my one did this I mean I go feet like you have a hungry feet or you have a work feet like that's all I have to say. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and you need for always to watch your videos because people will forget and i watch youtube and sometimes me watch the entire video i'm never like because i just because me never remember because them never remind me so when you hear me i remind you know because me know so sometimes you know forget you know we forget so me i tell you for like comment share subscribe turn on post notifications comment down below video suggestions follow me on all socials at cshrc and more soon in another next video